Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn March 9, 2023. Today's full moon can stir emotional rumblings, an epiphany, or a revelation. It can pull out strong feelings, and intimate or financial matters can come to a head. There could be some drama with money, or it might be a time for settling debts or collecting money owed. Take your time when it comes to making decisions, but pay attention to what rises to the surface. Intimate matters may heat up, or there can be excitement surrounding ownership issues. You might open your eyes to an issue that you've overlooked, or there can be blossoming feelings in your love life. This lunation can be about the need for someone or support. You might instead see the light about releasing yourself from a burden. It's a powerful time for allowing strong feelings to drive improvements and new missions. Get ready for mighty energy to resound through the heavens now. A full moon in your solar house of intimacy, sexuality, assets, and investments echoes within the night. This lunation will be potent for the rest of the week, so take this moment to analyze these themes and how you can better work toward building more of them into your life and schedule. If married, you could find a way to make more money together or explore one another's bodies more deeply. If single, you could feel quite needy at this time, but it's crucial you truly assess the needs you require in a long-term relationship going forward. Do you feel more empowered? The last six months have tested your patience, attention to detail, and boundaries. You may have felt like there has been quite a test put in front of you as you work toward feeling in control of your career and finances. As the full moon in Virgo comes to fruition today, harness your power to transform your professional and financial assets. You will likely feel better once Saturn leaves your sign and enters Pisces later today since the new Saturnian cycle will help you alleviate financial restrictions. While the moon is only in your financial sector for a few days, as a full moon this is not only a lot more potent, but as Saturn's return to your income sector today stacks the deck even more on the income side of the financial fence it is fighting to keep money matters in the loop. With the moon gone by tomorrow but income potential going from strength to strength, it is reminding you not to forget the importance of a balance between money coming in and money going out. If you followed yesterday's advice, you would perhaps feel the benefit of maintaining your personal energy within yourself not giving it out to other people or situations. Building further on this, try staying focused on your breath today. Exercise, and eat your meals slowly and deliberately so that your breath remains the priority in all that you do. The rhythm of your breathing is the guiding pulse to maintaining positive energy. Doing what's right for yourself is not always easy. Stay focused. Take time out today to learn a few new tricks. The essence of this day can enhance your interest in acquiring new information and experiencing something different. Seize any opportunity that comes your way, and if need be, actively seek out what you need. Expanding your mind means expanding your creativity and productivity. Consider reading a new book or just talking ideas over with others. Knowledge can often come from the least likely of places and people. Leave yourself open to receiving today. Saturn's departure from Aquarius today brings what may have been a challenging but definitely character-building three years to a close. When Saturn returned to Aquarius in 2020 it was to begin a new three-decade-long Saturn cycle but to spend the first three years laying down the foundations for future growth. Saturn is always somewhere, but as the focus shifts from taking back your personal power to not just giving you a new sense of resolve when it comes to the money as he joins the sun in your income sector, but across all the currencies in your life. Two days after the moon wrapped up its only visit to your relationship sector while Venus is in your communication sector, the planet of love is still using this to beef up her mission to give your heart and your relationships a voice. It was the moon's clash with Saturn for the last time before he leaves Aquarius today that has flushed out the issues that Venus is now feasting on. Our Eyes in the Sky Today, the celestial sphere is offering us a unique opportunity to dive deep into our analytical nature, thanks to the full moon in Virgo that shone brightly this morning. As the sixth sign of the zodiac, 
Virgo represents precision, organization, and attention to detail. So, under this lunar influence, we are encouraged to embrace these qualities and focus on refining our skills and systems. In addition to the full moon, we also have a significant planetary shift to take note of. Saturn, the planet of authority and structure, is now moving into Pisces, where it will reside for the next two years. This transition can have a profound impact on our emotional well-being, as Pisces is a water sign known for its sensitivity and introspection. With Saturn in Pisces, we can expect a period of emotional refinement and controlled escapism. Our passions and fantasies may blend with our reality, creating a sense of wonder and spiritual liberation. This can be a time to harness our deepest desires and use them to manifest the life we truly want. Overall, these cosmic events offer us a chance to tap into our analytical and emotional sides, combining them to create a powerful force for growth and manifestation. By embracing our strengths and refining our weaknesses, we can navigate the coming days with grace and confidence. So let's lean into this energy and see where it takes us. During the new moon in Pisces on February 19th, we were invited to explore our personal relationship with magic, opening ourselves up to the mystical realm of the universe. However, as we emerge from the deep end of the cosmic pool and into the light of the Virgo full moon, we are reminded to get grounded and establish a solid foundation for our dreams and aspirations. Without structure, even the most numinous ideas are destined to remain as mere fantasies. But with the proper organization in place, they can become a reality. This full moon reminds us that it's time to get organized and take action towards manifesting our goals. It's important to note that there's no need to beat ourselves up for any perceived lack of progress or lost time. Everything has its own time and place, and the period of fantasizing and daydreaming was necessary to clarify our goals and intentions. The imagination served as a crucial tool to guide us towards what was truly possible. Now, events or interactions in our lives may push us to take our plan to the next level. The Virgo full moon forms a trine with Uranus, the planet of innovation and change, providing additional inspiration and opening us up to surprise encounters that can further stimulate our creativity. It's important to remember that even if something now materializes as a result of our efforts, the design process will likely be ongoing. The journey towards manifesting our dreams is a gradual one, and we must enjoy every step of the way, embracing the evolving process of bringing our desires to fruition. So let's use the grounding energy of this Virgo full moon to establish the necessary structures to support our visions, and trust that the universe will continue to guide us towards our highest good. In the morning, Saturn, the planet of duty and responsibility, enters Pisces. The last time Saturn graced the sign of the fishes was in the spring of 1996. Many of you born between 1993 and 1996 will shortly be going through your Saturn returns, a period of maturation and rising into your authority. Saturn's serious energies are somewhat diffused within nebulous Pisces. Saturn likes structure, and Pisces prefers fantasy. Saturn likes discipline, and Pisces prefers taking the compassionate approach. Saturn will transit Pisces until May 24, 2025, and again from September 1, 2025 to February 13, 2026, during which time we will need to negotiate these extremes. Who do we consider reliable spokespeople within religion and media? How might we develop our creative capacity or relationship to spirituality? Whose rules do you follow, and why? What do you really believe in? All these questions, and more, are within the domain of Saturn in Pisces.